Ahem. Upgrade any time. At Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer. Well, Morgan, uh, I know you're, you're probably not too happy with the last weekend of the season, but a new week and uh, looking forward to the start of the new season. A pretty exciting time here. Yeah, I think so. I think obviously you want to get as much momentum going into playoffs as possible, and we didn't exactly achieve that, but we're pretty familiar with the team we're playing, and I think we match up pretty good against them. Your thoughts on that club? I mean, you know, after a couple of losses, is there maybe some mental things you think your team will have to battle through as you look to game one? Oh, I think so. I think I think going into the playoffs now, we're still the underdogs, as, as funny as that is to believe, but it's kind of been the story for us all year. And like I said, we know this team pretty well, and we got a week of practice here to kind of prepare for them and, and just kind of re refocus and see what we did wrong in those last couple of games. So we'll see how it goes. Considering the season series, it, I mean, you think it's a big advantage to have home ice here in this round? I think so. I think uh, our fans have been great all year, and we've, we've shown that we're a pretty dominant team at home. And you know, it's the same thing with Brandon. They're a pretty good team at home, so you got to make sure you're taking advantage of the games you do have at home. And if it does come down to it, I'm pretty thankful that we got we should have more games here. Why do you say you're underdogs going into this series? Uh, it just kind of seems like that's what the mood is around town, and everyone I've been talking to, and just things like that. Um, you know, people are after watching those last couple of games. They, they think that you know Brandon's gonna be able to, 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 to beat us pretty handily, and you know that's that's something that's kind of been the story for us all year. Like I said, people haven't really had a lot of belief in us, and we've kind of proved them wrong. So that's what we're looking to do again. Is that something maybe you're picking up in your own dressing room? Though? I mean, what does that do for the confidence losing two in a row to the team you play in the first round of the playoffs? Oh, it's difficult for sure. I think, you know, we're, we're missing a bunch of guys and you don't want to use excuses. But with, with the last couple games in the season there, I thought we played a pretty good game here at home and let it slip. So we know we can play with these guys and it's not really an issue right now. Like I said, we got a week of practice to kind of prepare for those guys. And we've seen a lot of them this year and we, we've shown that we can beat them. So uh, the confidence is pretty good. Did they do some stuff to maybe fire you guys up? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think uh, that... After the game they won here, uh, obviously we did let it slide, but they let us know at the end of the game, and that's something that we're not going to forget. But playoffs is a war no matter what. I think that might have just added a little bit a little bit of salt to the wound. Could you maybe have been a little bit guilty of taking the foot off the pedal a little bit? You knew you didn't have to do too, too much to clinch the spot, you know, the East Division pennant kind of thing. But, I mean, that Saturday game was kind of a throwaway as well. Uh, yes and no. You never want to take your foot off the gas. Like, you want to have good habits going into playoffs. But, you know, some games are, are easier to, 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 to play. And playing in Brandon and playing at home here when, you know, after you get in overtime, you get a 3-1 lead, it's, it's kind of tough for sure. But that's when you got to make sure you're really bearing down. And I guess we're a little bit guilty of taking our foot off the gas, yeah. How much uh, the pressure kind of goes on your shoulders now? Do you, do you feel that going into the playoffs? Uh, for sure. Uh, at this point of the season, your, your top players, your top point producers got to be your best guys, and that's something that I'm just looking to do and take on as much ownership as I can and be a leader for, for everyone that hasn't played in the playoff series before or, or things like that because I do have some experience at world championships and things like that playing in big games. So that's just, uh, I have no problem taking that responsibility on and something that I'm really looking forward to. Have you noticed an appreciable mood change with the guys today now that? next game is a playoff game? Yeah, I think so. I think things are really going to start to tighten up here. Um, obviously, you've got to stay loose and make sure you're enjoying things, but uh, it does kind of, you do kind of flick a switch when the playoffs come. So, you know, regular season's over, and it's a whole new season now, and we've got to make sure we're preparing for that. What's it like not knowing if you're going to have a guy like Dyson Stevenson in the lineup to get closer to the playoffs? Oh, it's difficult for sure. You know, Dyson's been a huge part of our team all year, and he's a leader, and he scores, and he does it all for us. So, you know, hopefully things work out with Dice, but we we got to make sure that we're preparing for for both scenarios. If he is back, and if he isn't, we we got to make sure we're, we're we're picking up for for what he for what he brought to the lineup. Is it nice to get some extra games in, considering you've had a bit of misfortune personally earlier uh, in the year? Yeah, I think so. I think. Uh, other than my 16-year-old season, I don't got a lot of postseason experience in the Western Hockey League, and you know that's something that looks good on everyone. If, if the team's winning, it looks great. And you know, for myself personally, obviously, I did miss a couple games at the beginning of the year and midway through the season. So, to make as much of an impression I can uh, at the end of the year here and try to make a run with the team is beneficial for everyone.